Howdy viewers and welcome once more to Head to Head where we take two games from the same genre and compare them in... I'm sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me ladies, what are you yakking about? You found something under my bed? Oh and you brought it here! Well let's have a look then. Oh I don't think we need to see that now, do you? But I will have you know I only bought it for the articles. Go to your boxes. This week, it's a pointlessly long worded game special. Cuddly is opting for Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow and Queenie's weighing in with Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Round one, graphics. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty offers realistic character animation with action style body movements and detailed facial expressions. It's clear the designers wanted to make this sequel look as real as possible. The key to Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow's impressive graphics are its lighting effects. Sam Fisher's stealthy goings on through the light and shade create an effective atmosphere of mood and intrigue. But which one is the best? Sixty-three percent of the hundred gamers we surveyed said Metal Gear Solid had better graphics than Splinter Cell. Round one to Metal Gear. Two rounds to go. So the dim-lit grey and green tones of Metal Gear Solid just pipping the dim-lit grey and green tones of Splinter Cell, which means Queenie takes round one. Round two. Story. Sons of Liberty tells an ambitious and complicated story about secret organisations, government soldiers and terrorists double-crossing each other in an attempt to control all human knowledge. Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow has the kind of high-concept plot usually reserved for Hollywood blockbusters. It's your job to take out a terrorist who has to make a phone call each day to someone somewhere or else a biological plague will be released across the globe. But which? is the most gripping scenario. 76% of you said that Pandora Tomorrow had the better story. Pandora Tomorrow takes round two. One more round to go. Unsurprisingly, after round two, Cuddly draws level based on the grounds that nobody alive understands the plot of any Metal Gear Solid game. So, the final deciding round three. Gameplay. The hide-and-seek gameplay defined in Metal Gear Solid 1 is largely unchanged in the sequel. But there are some improvements. Now you can sneak past enemies by swinging beneath them and use a first-person mode for greater accuracy in firefights. If anything, Pandora Tomorrow involves even more lurking and sneaking than Metal Gear. Patience is absolutely essential, as the gameplay mercilessly punishes the reckless or impulsive. But which game plays the best for you? Sixty-seven percent of our survey said Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow had the better gameplay. Round three goes to Splinter Cell. Making Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow today's winner at two rounds to one. Congratulations, Cuddly, coming from behind to win today's head-to-head 2-1. -head but where's Queenie the loser today? Oh, there she is. That'll be the forfeit. Cuddly. Do you want to do the honours? Go on, you've earned it! See you next time for another Head to Head! Time now to reveal the number one game that...